Okay guys, this is day A8 and I'm a mess because we're tired. I'm going to do our video really quickly without Jeremy because we've been braiding hair for the last like two hours. So, um, Tomorrow we start painting the orphanage um, fence and so I'm going to get some pictures of that for you guys. Um, Sunday's Easter and then Monday we're going to start our noonday trunk show for the orphanage. So I'm going to start building that group as soon as I can come up with some time to do that. We had a great time today. We went to Kansi to visit um, Carrie and Sam Bruce. Their um, place there is really nice. Um, there's pros and cons to Tropicana versus Kansi. Um, they have a washer and dryer. They have to walk up some stairs, but they have a great view from their place. They have a they have the pool and beach access similar to us. Um, they have a lot more privacy. They don't have a restaurant, which gives more privacy. There's pros and cons to having a restaurant. But there's not just the public, it's not open to the public there the way it's open here. So it's, and it's um, pretty much closer to downtown. So it's really close to the Levin Bakery, which I think is so good. And so I went to Orca, De Orca Deco today, which is kind of like a Bed Bath & Beyond slash <sighs> TJ Maxx, but nice, nicer stuff. Um, but I couldn't find a can opener because Carrie needs a can opener and I couldn't find one. I found bottle openers, but not can openers. Um, I got one of our little friends that had a birthday this week, um, and I, I'm assuming her family either sent her a gift or maybe sent money for somebody to buy her a gift, but it got broken immediately, so I got a replacement for her today. I found bubbles there, too, at Orca Deco, but they had a lot of home goods stuff, like pots and pans and stuff. Um... I really want to do the Noonday Trunk Show and try to get a boost on the solar panels um, because I really think 100% 24-7 power without electrical outages um, would do a lot for the water pump, the running water within the home, to be always there. These kids really need to be washing their hands more than they do you now little kids are. Um, just to prevent like diseases and things like that. Um, we have not heard any developments at all except for that we think that the police investigation is complete and the report is supposed to be completely done on, by Saturday, which is two days from now. Of course, we've heard that a lot, um, so we're kind of taking that with a grain of salt. Um, we've looked at scenarios that would require us, like, how could we live in Liberia for a full year? Um, looking into if Jeremy can resume his full-time IT work remotely from Liberia. Um, thank you to, um, Jennifer and Alex for their new day purchases. I really appreciate you guys. Um, the new day purchases this month are going to help with our travel expenses here. And the next month, the new day expenses or the new day stuff that we are able to earn commissions will go straight to the children's home. Um, I really miss our dog. It's a big deal. I miss more than just our dog. I miss our life, our family, our friends that are in Florida, um, we're still collecting textiles. The fill the box um, friends are still running those routes for us when they accumulate. So I had somebody, Janine, messaged me and said, "Oh, we got these bags. You know, what do we do?" I'm like, "Get it, find an Erminger and get it in my garage." <laughs> um, so those little things like that just really, uh, really help support us in this time. Um, so. Netflix is working right now. We're like pirating someone else's Netflix because Jeremy refuses to pay for Netflix because he doesn't agree with their politics, I guess. But um, I keep thinking about that verse in 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18. Uh, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we're wasting away. Inwardly, we're being renewed day by day. For a light and momentary troubles achieve for us um, a goal that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Because what is seen is temporary, and what is unseen is eternal. And that verse has been, like, a lot. Like, we think of our other kids, like, we think of the certainty of things that aren't certain. Um, but there are there is a routine and rhythm of things that is in our control. And when we think of the things that are certain, like custody of our children, um, the uncertain is pretty hard with our other kids. But the unseen realm um, is real and good and evil battle all the time. And so as we continue to try to be a force for good, 
Um, if we can't parent our Liberian children the way we want to, and we can't take custody of them, then we're going to do our best to parent them where they are. And we're going to do our best to serve the orphanage that they live in. And, you know, we're painting walls, we're buying things, like we're doing things to help them. Not, you know, there's a, you know, of course you could look at it and be like, oh, Rachel, you know, your, your kids are going to be out of there soon. But that doesn't matter to me because every single one of those kids feels like one of my kids. And, um, it's hard. Um, it's hard knowing that some of them don't have parents yet. Um, the ones that are matched, that I am friends with their parents, it's, it's so, like, it's so hard, um, to know the life that they're gonna go to and the life that's being delayed for them. And, like, the, the Clark family and the Godfrey family and the, there's a couple of families that I haven't even met or really connected with that much, but I know that these kids have families. Um, the Whitney family, like, I mean, the Clarks and the Godfreys, I was, I was friends with you guys before I met your child, your Liberian children in person. Um, but the Whitney family, I was not, you know, we, we connected online, but, um, meeting your son has been a real privilege. It's a good, it's a good kid. Um, I'm trying not to cry, but, um, I guess that's the difference in video videos with Jeremy. I don't cry as near as much, um, because he's always a comic relief for that, but the videos with Jeremy are so much longer. Um, so I know you guys probably get tired. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't, maybe you're fine. Um, but tomorrow we paint the wall because that's that was something we know we can do. And next month we are going to fundraise like crazy and beg you guys for money, create smaller, a small Facebook group, um, with everybody that I know that supports our adoption and I'll add the links in. Um, so you can support Noonday and support, um, the orphanage at the same time, but <sighs> keep thinking about us guys. Um, if you pray, pray. If you shop Noonday, shop Noonday. If you want to donate extra money to our adopt together, we're going to need it. Um, cost of living here is kind of crazy. It's just kind of crazy. But it's so nice to be in country with the Bruce family. And if you're a family that's on the verge and you don't know whether you should come or not and you just feel like you just want to come even just visit, I mean, my offer stands like, we'll take good care of you. We'll make sure you're staying in a safe place. I um, mean, cram into a room here at the Tropicana, you know, we'll, we'll make sure you guys are good, have everything you need, um, we'll support you while you're here, emotionally and physically, it's just, it's been nice to get to know, and the Bruce family lives in Indonesia normally, so like, it's been great to bond with them, and every day it's something different, you know, there's ups and downs, there's highs and lows, there's rumors about this, rumors about that, have your people heard anything, and my people heard anything, God bless Nelson, <laughs> <laughs> Nelson man for you know thank you Sila for for letting us borrow Nelson and Nelson has sent us um another person to drive us around Nelson's let us borrow his car um to use and um we try to pay him for that but I you know I, I know he would help us no matter what but we do try to pay him for his car rental it's probably not near what it would really cost me to rent a car in Liberia but um he either drives us around himself or he sends somebody that's excellent in his place to drive us around. And the constant encouragement that he that he has been for us, Nelson has been. And I mean, I feel like his wife's probably missed him a lot this month because he's helped us a lot, driven us places, given us good advice, taken Jeremy to the Ministry of Gender, <sighs> gone a lot of different places and been countless times to the orphanage and just sat in the shade and watched us bond with our kids. And time out of his, I don't know, I know he's busy time out of his day and his life to do that has been a gift that we can't repay no matter what. So if you're not as familiar with the Hope of Blessing International Orphanage and the work that they do, um, let me know um, and I'll put you in touch with my dear friend Celia Godfrey and the work that she does. And you, I can give you the website if you want to help with them or learn more about them. They do, um, they care for 30 orphans and their age little little bitty itty bitty to 19 and um going to school so um sweet people there uh nelson and his wife pauline are amazing amazing people so 
that's all I have for today. Um, you think about the um, the Easter story and the uncertainties of all the people that surrounded Jesus right before he died and the doubt and the fear that they had is nothing compared like our our doubts and fears and circumstances pale in comparison to that situation but it does give me a little bit of hope and peace that we're doing what we're supposed to do and that all the contingencies we come up with and all the what if this, what if that we come up with. And the other family, the Bruce family that's here and the Hadley family. Oh my gosh, the Hadley family. I have connected more. I haven't met them in person either. I've just bonded with Montana via WhatsApp and Facebook and online commiserating and, and encouraging. And, um, you know, they're a little guy. He's, he's all smiles. And I, it's a, it, it just watching him kind of do his toddler thing. He's little. But um, just seeing all of that, really, it's a big deal to be a part of this. But when I think about the uncertainties that we all have and the contingency that we all have, one day we will look back on this phase of our life of parenting. And it'll be like, you know, we felt like it was taking forever, but we were really only there for a few weeks, five to six weeks. We got custody of our kids, and then we breezed through. So, day 88. Bye.